um, hi welcome in this video i'll talk about uh, this terraform deployment that i've written for the data lake um, deployment architecture um, i assume you would have come through the github page in the github page i've stored this code in this video i'll explain how you can use this code to to deploy this resource i have other other uh, samples as well i'll try to create a video for those uh, other samples now in this architecture um just a minute so in this uh, using this code i try to deploy um, deploy this piece of architecture now this um, this would usually um, apply for any any architecture that deals with a lot of data <clears throat> where you are storing your data in azure cosmos db um, you're using uh, data factory to store uh, your uh, your old data or historical data in Azure Data Lake, and then you're using Function App to process your your data, uh, and and the queue storage will be used for the Function App, and the front door is for regional high availability. Uh, front door, as we all know, is global service and would allow you to uh, fail over in case of any disaster for for one region. Now, um, our main purpose is to understand what this code is doing and how you can implement this. Now, in this uh, in this main folder, I'll have two child folders. One is Terraform modules and one is Terraform resources. Uh, Terraform resources is your main folder where you will be doing almost everything. Uh, in using Terraform resources, I then call Terraform modules. Now in the Terraform resources, you have a file called main.tf, variable.tf and terraform.tf parts. Main.tf is the file that tells Terraform what it needs to do. Um, we are using backend uh, to store our state file. Uh, when you update this code or when you, start, when you try to use it, you'll have to update your subscription ID and you'll have to use the resource group um, in which you'll create this particular storage account uh, the storage account will be used as a backend and then the container um, then terraform will, will read this backend information and then create terraform.tf state file in this container name or container and um, then the providers provider value and everything uh, i'm using modules now these modules front door cosmos db web app and everything now these Using these modules, we are deploying all the resources that you see in this architecture. Now, um, how this works is, or what the workflow is, uh, is we define, for example, if I show you the front door, I tell it the front door, and front door is in Terraform modules front door um, uh, folder. And if I have to make any change, or I want to customize my front door deployment, I go to main.tf in the front door directory, and then I add or I change or do whatever I want to do. Now, when you apply or when you want to um, deploy these resources, um, there is this Terraform FRs um, since as you see, uh, almost everything, in fact, everything is, uh, is used, is running as a variable. I'm using the variables for everything. And these variables are defined in variables.tf. You will not deal with this file. Um, but just to give you the reference, it is all defined in this variables.tf file. And the values is actually fetched from terraform.tfrs. So now what will be your front door name? Uh, what will be your front door host name? Uh, what will be your Cosmos DB account name? And if you don't know um, what this means or what this value means, you can just hover your mouse around it and it will tell you what is the description. Uh, almost everything will have the description. Um, and, and you can understand what value uh, it is expecting or what this value is. Now, um, this is what you need to do. You need to mention your resource group name, uh, location, and, um, and uh, as per process, what I'm doing is everything is deployed in the same resource group and same region. Uh, we can change it. This can be customized. If I get feedback, I can make this change. Um, now, uh, to deploy, if you are aware of the Terraform deployment, what we do is we run Terraform in it. Um, uh, just let me change this uh, subscription ID and everything uh, to the backend that I'll be using, and I'll be back.
now uh, to run or to deploy these resources what you'll have to do you'll have to go to the terraform resources as i mentioned our main file is in terraform.resources go to terraform.resources i run terraform init terraform init initializes the um the terraform directory it reads my backend information it reads the provider it goes through the modules and then it initializes directory after this i can run terraform plan uh, to see what it is going to do exactly um, this might take a couple of minutes uh, while it happens i'll explain i'll give you the overview of this readme um, uh, file as well uh, now you can go through this readme file also when you open this github uh, link um uh, data lake deployment this is the git uh, readme file where i have explained everything and i'll i'll, I'll, I'll try to write an article in my um uh, the tech guy blog as well i just go through this and it will pretty much explain what these resources are uh, what terraform um, code is what is the usage what is the best practices and everything now um now um that's, that's pretty much everything um so terraform plan completed terraform plan tells me um that it is going to deploy all these resources um if it fails or if anything happens it will tell you what is the error you can follow that error work on that error and fix it anything that you see with plus is something that is it is going to create we are not making any changes we are not deleting otherwise it would have shown tilde or minus now I know my Terraform plan worked and most likely my Terraform apply should also work. I ran Terraform apply because I recently ran and I don't want to create any more resources in my subscription. Uh, but once I know Terraform plan has worked, next I can just run Terraform apply and it will create those resources. And once it creates those resources, I'm good to go. Now just a quick feedback uh, recap. Terraform resources is the folder which has all the files. Now, when you are going to do, you have to, you have to come back. You have to, uh, you have to update this backend um, with your subscription ID, with your resource group, with your storage account name. You have to update terraform.tfparts, which is also in Terraform resources. With all these values that you want, for example, uh, my. Uh, you know cosmos db skew or my anything my function app skew function app um here and everything and then i just run apply perfect thank you have a good day bye